Hey guys, Bowser Kerrigan here, here to give you this live reaction to this Fire Emblem If introduction video. I have no idea what's in this, it's freaking 7 minutes long, but I imagine some of this is going to be reused footage, but I'm excited to see. So let's begin right about now. Footage from the first trailer, which was pretty sick. Hmm, that's new. Some sick art. Hmm. So, what's his face and create fire with his sword? Interesting. Unless that was just for visual flair. Fire emblem if. タミオ愛し平和を願う白夜王国。戻ってきてくれたんですね。覇王となり、作望を巡らす暗夜王国。二つの大国が争いを深める中で、物語は幕を開けます。so elementary at it. Honestly, I'm probably gonna keep my Kamui the same. On the black side, I'm choosing female Kamui, and if I play the white side, I'm choosing male. あなたの選択で未来は大きく変わっていく。何？今作の最大の特徴とも言えるのが白夜王国、暗夜王国と。I want to say details on the third path already. Oh, you know what I really want? I want support conversations between the royal families on each opposing side. That's what I want to see. This game seems to have a lot more cutscenes than Awakening too. Unit selection. Okay, explain the basics. Like the quick transition. Zero. Hmm. So we have an archer named Zero. Battle you just shoot a freaking light arrow. しかも今作では敵も二人がかりで戦闘を仕掛けてくるため仲間との連携がより重要になります。二人のキャラクターを一つのユニットとして行動させる王人。全英の能力が上昇し、加えて光栄が敵の追加攻撃をガードします。さらに今作から登場した新しいギミック龍脈戦場に点在する龍脈と呼ばれるポイントを起動するとフィールドがダイナミックに変化します龍脈を操作できるのは主人公や王族のキャラクターのみ戦略的に使うことで戦況は一変
The fuck? What is that? Freaking Yeti monster or something. Well, looks like foxes aren't the only thing we have. Good job is that. And yeah, she's new. I like the new critical hit cuttings. In Awakening, they were too thin, in my opinion. My Castle. Honestly, I probably won't mess with my castle too much. Just not interested in it. And mm. so you can edit your other characters too. I thought it was just calmly. ヒソワ。相手のマイキャッスルを訪問したり。ネックス。マイキャッスルを舞台に対戦することもできます。ラクス。That's I love how this is much more cinematic than Awakening. Seven minutes already, that was quick. Alright. So that was the Fire Emblem If introduction video. Some pretty interesting stuff. Like I thought they reused some footage. But we got new characters. We got to see some new classes. A freaking dude turning into a Yeti or some shit. Um, that one girl, I don't know what the hell she transformed into. But she got a mount when she classed up. So yeah. Lots of new interesting additions from Intelligence Systems and Nintendo. Can't wait to play this for myself. I could import this in Japanese, but honestly, I want to wait for the English release because I plan to have a 3DS capture card by then so I can stream it and upload it to YouTube for you guys. So yeah, that's the plan for whenever it comes out in English. But anyways, what are your thoughts on all this? A lot of crazy stuff. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, have a great day.